Hey guys, welcome back to a Wigan Run-Up. So, this is the last episode of the season, and we start here today with a game against Cardiff. So it's clear, we're going to win the league, we're going to get promoted, we're on 87 points. Cardiff are a bit behind. You can see their fans at the end of the stadium, but we've played at the stadium for a year now. Our new renovated stadium, the DW Arena, and today we're going to play with a bit of a compact midfield. We're going to work our way around the wings as well, and we're just going to play our normal football. Just with a bit of a change in the formation, a bit more compact as you see there. Bakuna and Meekings will be playing in at defence this time. I usually play Bakuna in at defensive mid, but I wanted to try out some other players. But what does this game hold for Ali El Habsi, the old goalkeeper from Oman? So it's exciting stuff, isn't it? So let's begin. McLean's going to pass it off into the middle. Park Ji Young's going to come back. He's going to weave around the defence. You can see here, and he's going to take a shot. Puts the keeper into a good save, though. So we've got a corner now. It's early on in the game, and on the end of it is Bakuna, our centre back. So we've scored a lot of goals from corners and crosses. And I think, you know, when we look back at the start of the season when I talked about this, we wanted to mimic the style of Chelsea, these big footballing players. And, you know, we're doing that. Players like Bakuna, who just scored, Omar Gonzalez, Rykovic, Fokabu, Makinok. These are big players. They're well over six foot. And it's just really helped me, you know, in the season. We've um, grinded some points out with these goals when the strikers couldn't score. So it's always good to get hitters and um, good good plays, good goals like that, but now we've got a sped up play, and I've been doing this a lot in the last couple of episodes, the reason why is because I want to show you the build up of our team, and the way we play, and the end product, like this, for example, so Loa Loa managed to get a good shot, and then the corner, on the end of it is Bakuna again, so, you know, as I said, we're getting lots of good chances, this is the 17th minute, and Duncan takes a shot, and I thought that was in, you know, you saw the net move, you saw all the players stand still, and just look at the goalkeepers, uh, what's going on, but no, that wasn't a goal, so yeah, really good chances, and then we have a low lob pass from Ben Watson to Makinok, Makinok's through on on goal, he's going to take a shot, and I've never really fancied his pace when I signed him. You know, he's a big six foot seven striker. I I bought him for the aerial threat, and he's just proved me wrong every time I've used him one on one with the keeper or a defender. He's just managed to score. You know, he's got good pace, and here he is again. So he's gonna cut inside, take another shot, and on the end of it is a poacher, McManaman, poacher winger. So he managed to score. We won that game three 0 and every time I win a game, Ali Al Habsi's always at the end of the camera, just having a bit of a celebration. He walks all, always to the goal or the Nets, and you get stuck, but we're playing Blackburn now, Blackburn are one of my other favourite teams, I love all the Lancashire teams, you know, just something about the fighting spirit of these teams, and I am using, um, why well, I gave Blackburn their classic kit, I really like that kit, by the way, it's awesome, just, just a classic Blackburn kit, and we're playing in our away kit, I really liked the, um, the old Wigan kits, the really bright fluorescent kits that we used to have as well for the away games, but you notice in this game, we tried to play like the old Blackburn that I remember seeing in the Premier League and just quickly, Ben Marshall will get a shot against the keeper. Good save by Lee Nichols. But you notice there are lots of crosses and um, shots, I guess, aerial play. And that's how Blackburn used to play. I remember big players like Chris Samba, Ryan Nelson, the New Zealander. And that was really fun because we were already winning the league. We were going to get promoted. And it was just fun to play with a different style. So we tried to slow the game down. And we mixed it up by playing on the ground and we scored this goal here. So Nick Powell... The Manchester, the ex-Manchester United player, and I just thought that was really cool, just to slow the game down and just bring it into the middle. Eventually, make you knock, and then boom, big shot. No one can get past. That was Paul Robinson, by the way. He's always played for Blackburn, isn't he? Used to play for Tottenham, I'm pretty sure. But James Perch, the versatile defender. You think he's going to go for a cross, but no, he's going to pass back to Gonzalez. He just needed a bit more support, didn't he? So he's going to pass it off to Perch again and he just he's just fighting for it isn't he he's gonna go for a cross but he gets pushed back so now we have a free kick and Espinosa the stamina king he's got 91 stamina a header from Akinok gets pushed away by the Blackman defense and now we have a corner and a good catch from Robinson so lots of good chances aerial chances and I think that's the theme for this game Varney will get a good chance in, and then they they scored so yeah, we conceded, now it's 1-1 in the 57th minute, and I wasn't too fussed, because we won the season, and uh, it's cool that Blackburn got a goal, I don't mind, you know, I don't mind if we lose a game or two, you know, we've won a lot, but, um, yeah, 1-1, who cares, we we're already up there, so, full-time scores around the championship, pause if you want to see those, and now we've got the tables, so yeah, as I said, 91 points, we're good, we're safe, Norwich on 82, looks like Norwich will be coming up with us, just need one more team from the playoffs, but now we go back to home to the DW Arena, and we're going to try some more players out, not try them out, but just give them a bit of a chance again, and you'll notice, I think Boyce is playing in this game, but Hartock will be playing as well, and what do we know about Fulham, they're just a relegated team from the Premier League last season, and they just want to get their way back up into the Premier League, Wilson Palacios will anchor the midfield, you see him there, walking past, got the big beard, 
But we start this game with Zoe, who gets a good shot in, and the keeper will make a good save. So that was in the 12th minute, so we're getting lots of good chances. I keep saying that, but that's just what happens. And the keeper, I don't know a lot about him. I haven't really heard of him, but he's done well in this game, hasn't he? And um, the shot from Espinosa, but I think the keeper had that covered. And we'll see here a good chance from McManaman. He's going to pass it off to Barahino, who I haven't used a lot lately. You know, when he's come on, he's scored a lot. I just preferred Makinok in some cases, but I will be using him a lot in the next season. There's going to be another cool signing coming up as well. And you saw that goal, 82 minutes. So it took us 82 minutes to score. That was right. So we just kept trying, even through the end of the season, which I thought was pretty cool. And it just shows that these players still want to work for a place in the team because we are playing Premier League next season and a lot of places up for offer. So we're going to promote two young youth players, Dominic James and Abbas Rabaud. Rabaud. And they get straight into the team, well, quickly onto the squad. But Emerson Boyce is going to retire at the age of 35. So it's a bit sad if you're a Wigan fan because he's played for us for a long time, isn't he? Through thick and thin. And you'll see Emerson Boyce on the right back position and Dominic James in the right wing. So these two players are going to work together. And that's the thing I like about my formation, the 4-3-3, is that, well, after a good defence from Perch, but you'll see the two, you know, talking, they're working together, it's a good partnership, that's what I like, you know, as I was saying before, the right and left backs have to work well with the right and left wingers, and you'll see them here passing off to each other, one's going to come back, and then one's going to go up forward, and then they pass, just link up, so it has to be a good partnership, and that's what's really gotten us through the, well, this season, is just the, the working around the wings and the sides, and uh, I thought that was a good gesture to, you know, promote a young youth player, or two in this case, when one retires. So, you know, it's a good thinking for the future kind of uh, attitude that we've got going on here. Young youth players coming through, a new philosophy, a new, pretty much a new team. Oh, we're giving the ball away, but I don't really mind, you know, we're just really working hard in this game. Abbas Rabot makes a really good tackle. He just stood on the ground just as he was, and he, that was his pass as well. McManaman to Rabot, Rabaud, I don't know how to say that name, but he's going to go on and go. He reminds me of, um, like, Carrick, I think, you know, just tall, lanky figure, just controlling the midfield, staying back more. He's the more defensive-minded, but he loves to attack sometimes. And uh, Dominic James, ooh, just trying the fancy things. You'll see him here. Most of the highlights will be about him. Good linking up passes, you know, it's his debut, so we don't really expect much from him. But Makinok, he's really slow, but he's composed, and he just managed to get a good three ball to James, and we almost scored a goal. So McManaman and James, they kind of look like the same player, but they're not. And then Rabode going to go for a low lob pass, hits the referee, and Tavernier. You know, the wing backs and the right backs, they had to be big to make this formation work. And I think with players like Tavernier, uh, what's his name, Boyce, and Perch, they've really worked well for me because they're big utility players and they're fast as well. So, you know, that's why I sold Ken and I thought he was a bit too slow. So, sorry if you're a Ken and fan, but Boyce would come off and that's it. That's his last minute of, of his season. And I thought that'd be quite cool just to bring on Gonzalez, one of our most improved players, a bit of performing players. Gonzalez would come on for the retiring Emerson Boyce. So, that was a cool little gesture again. And just all the young players coming through the ranks, just oh, I just thought it was a celebration more than anything. And the 60th minute, so we're getting through this game, you know, just grinding it out, having a bit of a fun, fun time here. And you're going to see our player of the season coming on now, so Leandro Bakuna. And I thought that was pretty cool, just doing nothing like this, just a celebration thing. Bringing off a boat and bringing Bakuna on the player of the season, just on for another 30, 40 minutes, whatever. And then we win that game, so we just grinded it out, had a bit of fun. That was a draw. But celebrations at the end, Daniel Johnson, who reminds me of Melchior in the way um, Jacob commented in the last few episodes, that was awesome, just awesome game faces as well, that makes the career mode more, you know, personalised, makes it fun when all the players have game faces, not that I want to do that more in, in the future, but I think I will just for the fun, but I'll still be signing the players that I want to sign, and some of these players don't have game faces, no big bicky, but we'll just see how this goes. Omar Gonzalez, the captain, he was the captain for the whole season. He's going to get ready to lift up the trophy for the championship. And you'll notice he looks, looks a bit short. He's actually 6'5", and he's standing next to Duncan, who's 5'10". So, making it look behind him, he's 6'7", but it's cool. It's just the animation. I love it. Just awesome. They're celebrating, and that's it. You know, we won this championship. We At the start of the season, we took this team, a, a small Wigan team. Uh, didn't have a lot of depth. And we signed some really cheap signings, um, players like Gonzalez with 5 million, making up 2, 3 million, you know, just really cheap players. You check out the first episode if you want, but 
I just thought we did really well. We made the core of the team, and now we're just going to build on that. We're going to sign some youth players. We're going to get the youth academy going for the Premier League, assuming we stay up. I hope we do, because we'll probably go up to world class, won't we? We signed some good depth, good young players coming up through right until the end of the season, which we have now, Rabode and Dominic James. And we're just going to keep pushing on, just build on that. And we ended a very strong season right there. So Emerson Boyce, yeah, I went back to that email. And just That's the last time I'm going to see him, you know, 35 years old. It was fun using him for a season. I wish, you know, he could have stayed for a couple more. That would have been fine. I still would have had him on the fringes of the team. But that was it. Thanks a lot. So that's first first season rounded up in 12 episodes. I think that's a record, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so I'm going to continue the roundup sort of thing when the Premier League starts. And I'm um, just going to get straight into it, you know, just rebrand the whole thing, you know, I want to change the career mode, you know, I made some mistakes in the last one, you know, the way I spoke in some occasions, it was, it was bad, it was lazy, um, and yeah, I'm just going to pick it up a bit. I just want to say thanks a lot, because um, I know some of you guys are really loyal Wigan fans, and I've kind of been, I've been embraced by the Wigan fans in general, or the FIFA Wigan fans, and I really appreciate that. So, you know, hopefully I can see you episode one, season two of the Premier League. I can't believe I'm saying that. It's awesome. You know, I never thought I'd get through a first season, you know, doing it on YouTube because um, YouTube's a hard thing. Um, uploading consistently a series, consistently rather, is quite a hard thing to do, and I've done it in 12 episodes. So, you know, this is only the start of something. I'm just going to keep going and um, see how that goes. So I'll see you episode one, Premier League. See you there. Catch up.